my scars, are a roadmap of torture that the North Korean government claims does not exist. I was born a slave on November 19, 1982. My mother and father were two strings picked from a broken guitar. See, their melody was a tune my masters played for their own entertainment. I called them my breeders. I've never known love or mercy, only obedience as a prisoner of sin. I was sentenced to three generations of punishment, found guilty by a devil I never even knew existed. The menu was always the same a spoonful of corn porridge and salted cabbage. But during the summer, rats and field mice were plentiful, and the only time I felt happy was when I was full. See, their bones are soft and brittle like the spines they built in our backs. When I was 13, I overheard the sound of whispering. It sounded like rats, and I was always hungry. My mother, my brother, whispered of escape. Each word was the whip of betrayal. In here where the choice is food or family, you find a guard to bargain with when you're insane enough from hunger where anything solid from your own vomit is considered leftovers. I was not fed by my breeders when I presented this news. I was beaten and tortured, roasted over fire like a knife that needed sterilizing. The word escape is a gaping wound and I needed to be cauterized. I told them everything I knew, but the fires, the fires were hungry too. I would have died if not for the old man. He told stories of roasted meat as he cleaned my wounds. Each piece of skin sizzled off my body as the blood and pus gushed out of me, draining whatever hope I had left. But he told me I needed to survive. I survived for seven months, and when they finally took off the blindfold, there stood my brother, tied to a post that was soaked in the blood of other rats just like him. And my mother, our eyes mirrored the same acceptance of fate as they tied the noose around her neck. Lucky them, at least the old man had spirit. His stories of roasted meat made me hungry again. I picked and scabbed at the thought of escape until I couldn't take it anymore. When I was 23, my insanity began to lose its mind. Hunger is a greedy devil that takes no prisoners. It never remembers the past and always wants more tomorrow. The smell of burnt meat was just enough to make me climb over the old man's corpse through the electric fence and not look back. There was no need to say a prayer. See, eating is a twisted form of justice that knows no end, and I have always found starvation to taste like silence. I escaped on the 2nd of January, 2005, and to this day, I still think of freedom as roasted meat. 여러분들, 안녕하세요. 33살의 신동혁입니다. My name is Shindonghyuk. Today, I am 33 years old. I'm the only known North Korean escapee born and raised out of an internment camp only known as Camp 14. And even as I watched my mother being hung and my brother being shot, I can remember being so hungry that day, I couldn't help but wonder what they would do with the meat. <laughs>